welcome back to the Fire and Water Cooking Channel. I'm Darren, and today I'm just going to do a little review on the, the uh, sous vide uh, pod that I use the most. It's actually the first one I got. I got it for Christmas last year. Um, I did a lot of research before I picked the one that I wanted my wife to buy for me. So, um, and I like this uh, Gormia GSV 140 is what it is, and. When I got it, you could actually buy it in multiple colors. They had about eight different colors, so I got purple, because that was my mom's favorite color. So, um, One of the things I like about this unit <coughs> is the way the screen faces. If you look where the clip is on this, you can actually put this unit to the front of your sous vide container, and you'd be looking dead on into the screen. A lot of the other units that are out there they have the screen that's flipped the other way, so you have to actually put the unit to the back of the container. So you're actually having to look over to it, or you have to put it on the side, or some other way to try to read it right. So that's one of the things I do like about this, but I also like it because it's very simple to use. It has two buttons, and one is the power button. You just press it and hold it. It comes on after a couple seconds. And then to set it, pretty easy it's got one set button that kind of scrolls through all the different settings and then you adjust with either the wheel on the back here or you just hit the power button so it's very easy to use the only thing that you have to get used to with a unit like this is these pressure buttons they're very sensitive sometimes you can press them both at the same time and it'll switch from Fahrenheit to Celsius so you just got to look out for that but once you get figure that out, um, they're actually pretty easy to use. And that's one of the things I, I love about it. It's, there's not a whole lot to it. There's no Wi-Fi or Bluetooth or anything else to go wrong with it. It's simply, you know, set it and forget it. This unit's 1200 watts, which is about the top of the power that you can find with any of the units out there. Uh, the, I know the Anova's around eight or 900 watts, at the max. I think the Jewel is 1100 watts, and then there's some that are 1000 watts, but 1200 watts is right at the top of the uh, power scale that they go to. And one of the things the, the more higher watts do is let you heat the water up faster, and also keeps it at the temperature a lot easier, especially if you're using an insulated container like a cooler. Um, you can actually keep your temperature pretty dead on. Now this one does actually fluctuate back and forth a degree when I keep it in this cooler here, or this uh, container here. And I think that's mostly due because as the water is not uh, in an insulated unit, it's, you know, it's a big amount of water and it can cool off pretty quick. But this does keep it good within, within that one degree mark pretty easily and it gets there pretty quick. So that's what I like about it. I haven't had any issues with it. I've had it for over six months. And I've used it probably every other day since I've had it. I haven't had it stop on me at all. Uh, about the only time you will get this to have an error is if you the water gets below this minimum mark. And what that does, it, it, it shuts itself automatically so it doesn't burn out the heater in it. Because the heater is located in the, in the uh, fan or the propeller is located in the bottom unit here, but it's really protecting the heater. So it's got a sensor in there. Once it senses that water goes below this line, it'll automatically shut off and give you an error reading. And that's just simply so the, uh, the heating element doesn't burn out. So I've actually had this unit way up over the maximum uh, line here uh, for the amount of water without any problems. So I've never had any issues with it with steam. Some of the other units like Anova's and uh, some other makers, they have a lot of issues where if you're using a cover or if you're using saran wrap to cover the top, the steam will get into it and make it uh, have some errors. But I've never had that with this unit. It works great. But one of the things I do like about this unit, um, they are pretty inexpensive. I think I got this uh, during uh, probably right before Christmas, it was either a Black Friday sale or something through Kohl's. I think we paid like $65 for it. I think they still sell right now on Amazon for like $79 or so. And then you can find them on Lightning Deals on Amazon a lot. But um, 
like I said, it, it does pretty well. But one of the things I do like is this little recipe book that came with it. And uh, I don't use the recipes themselves, even though, you know, they got some good recipes in it. But what I found is there's a guide in the back here that um, actually is pretty accurate with the different meats and uh, cuts of meat and all the different, you know, produce, vegetables, seafood. The time and temperature um, guide in here is actually very good and very accurate. And one of the guys that runs one of the other sous vide groups on Facebook, Exploring Sous Vide, Jason, actually wrote this for Gourmia. And he's got a pretty extensive website and Facebook group, so... I would look that up, Exploring Sous Vide or Amazing Food Made Easy. That's Jason Langston, and he's the one who uh, actually put this book together for Gourmet. And I've, I've actually used this guide all the time. I keep it on my desk handy so that I know if I'm going to cook something, I'll look up the guide and see uh, the time and temp that's in here. And then I'll compare it with others like Jewel or Leonova or some other sites and see where they fall. But I found that this little guide that he's got together in here actually is pretty good. So, um, I fully recommend it. Um, I've seen, you know, just like with any electronic piece of equipment, you're gonna find people that have had issues with them. I just haven't. I haven't heard of many. Um, you'll hear a lot, um, you know, like I said, with the Innovas, with the Jewels, just because there's more of them out there. But, like I said, I've had really good luck with this unit. I've worked it to death. I've, I've used it a lot in six or seven months that I've had it, and I have never had an issue with it, so. Just um, keep that in mind, look at it, take a look at it online, do some other, re you know, look at other reviews, look at other, um, you know, other reviews on Amazon or other websites, and, but I highly recommend it, and I'll be doing some more of these reviews with some other products that I have and that I use down the road, so thanks again for joining me, and let me know if you got any questions, go ahead and subscribe, make sure you add, make any comments down below, if you got any questions, I'll try to answer them, join us on our Facebook group, Fire and Water Cooking, and our Facebook page, Fire and Water Cooking Channel, and make sure you subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications.